All right, back to the Desert Botanical Garden here in Phoenix. Um, I want to officially say this is now my favorite place on Earth. It has overtaken Gdansk Bay, which was previously my favorite place on Earth. But today I got to practice something that I've been putting off for a very long time. You see, I started religiously going on intermittent fasting practically 16 hours every day. I started religiously doing that about a year and a half ago. And I quickly noticed a major, major benefit of doing it, but it came with a major drawback. The benefit was that it was mental health. Uh, I would be very lightweight and I could tackle challenging problems that normally would overwhelm me, right? So I used to have a big problem with loud social environments, which is why I love coming out here. Going to a bowling alley or going to a loud sporting event or a workplace party, those used to be very challenging. Not to mention trying to go on vacation to something like Las Vegas. Oh my God, two years ago I would never, that, that was a nightmare to me. That wasn't a dream. Uh, and um, when I was fasting, all those things slid right off me. And it's not just those loud events that used to be challenging. I would get a challenging situation at work. You know, my boss says something that I wasn't prepared for or that I didn't want to hear. And when I was in a fasted state, I could relax and come up with the right. I was very lightweight. Uh, so for a year and a half, every time I went out into social life, I was at always at least 8-12 hours into fasting, right? Usually I would eat that one big meal after the day was done and I was safely quarantined at home, right? Because I was very uh, rowdy after I was eating. I always carried a heavy heart after I was eating. Now the, the drawback is that um, a lot of things happen without anybody's control of when they happen, right? Workplace emergencies, personal emergencies, interesting events in life. Uh, you know, maybe at home the fire alarm could sound. We've had fire drills um, during uh, at uh, different apartments that I've lived in. And nobody can prepare and fast I I ahead of those things, right? And that, that presented its own challenge. Sometimes my boss would call me, you know, um, I'm, I'm a professor and things come up in the, in the middle of the night. Uh, and I would not be ready to handle that and I would try to postpone talking to my boss boss would call me at 7 p.m. He saw an interesting paper that I ought to look at. He wanted to discuss with me. I was like, can we, can we talk about it in the morning? I wasn't busy at that time. I only wanted to give myself time to fast because I, I had a lightweight attitude every time I fasted. So lately I've been trying to practice going out without a full 16 hour fast. Or right now I'm only four hours into fasting. I don't know if it shows that I'm not myself on the video, but I certainly um, handled a, a few things a, a little bit off today because I wasn't fasting. Uh, earlier today, I was teaching a class and um, I was talking to a former, uh, an, another uh, instructor that had taught the class previously because I wanted to get her permission to edit a few slides of hers. And uh, we were discussing the material and I got a little bit combative when I used to be a, a little bit more co collaborative. Uh, just carry a heavy heart every time after a big meal. And uh, unfortunately, like I said, even though it'd be nice to always be in a fasted state when you're in your social life, oh, that's, it's not practical and I need to practice being able to at least uh, handle things properly when I'm on a full stomach. And, Part of the reason I chose today is that I'm recording this on August 3rd, 2021. Tomorrow I want to go on a 24-hour uh, fast in memorial of what happened in Beirut a year ago. And I used it as an opportunity to practice uh, eating and going to work remotely, obviously, and coming out here to the garden because I knew the garden was an easy place to practice. Uh, going to the bowling alley might be a different story, so I'll give that a try at some other point. Uh, anyway, so last year I got really good at fasting. This year I need to get really good at social events without fasting while still enjoying the fast, right? Don't get me wrong, fasting is still very enjoyable. We just can't rely on it to be there all the time, right? 